Okay, so welcome back. And in example seven, we're asked to write a trig function from a verbal description. And example A says the reciprocal of the cosine function with no phase shift that has been reflected in the x-axis has a domain of x is not equal to pi plus or minus k times two pi and a range of negative infinity to negative eight inclusive union 14 inclusive to positive infinity. So let's break this down into these um, color-coded sections. So the reciprocal of the cosine function, that tells me that this is gonna be a secant function. And no phase shift tells me that the h is equal to zero. Okay, has been reflected in the x-axis. That tells me that the a value is negative. So a is less than zero. It has a domain of x's not equal to pi plus or minus k times two pi. And remember when you're looking for asymptotes, which is what constitutes the domain restriction, the multiple um, multiplier on the k is half of the period of the function. So if half of the period is two pi, then the period of the secant graph is gonna be four pi. And we can use that then to find the b value. And then in the range, we know that this upside down U shapes are going to have um, relative maxes and mins here at negative eight and 14. And we can use those to find the A. So A, since there has been a reflection in the X axis, we'd find with negative absolute value of the max minus the min, divided by two. And so A is equal to, and negative uh, eight minus negative 14 is negative 22, divided by two is negative 11, absolute value of negative 11 is 11, and then the negative outside makes this A equal to negative 11. Okay, next we're gonna find the B value. And to find B, we take the period of the parent function, which would be two pi, that's the period of secant's parent graph, divided by the period of this new function, which is four pi. The pi's cancel and leave us a one half. So the B in our transformation form of this equation is one half. Okay, we already saw because there's no phase shift, the h is equal to zero. And the last thing we need to find is the vertical displacement of our equation. And vertical displacement is gonna be based on this max and min. Remember, we average that relative extrema to find the k value. So k is equal to negative eight plus 14, all divided by two, which is six divided by two, which is three. So the k or the vertical displacement is equal to three. So when we put all four of these pieces together into transformation form, we'll have negative 11 secant of the quantity 1 half x plus three. And that would be the equation based on the verbal description that was given. So now in problem B, go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your whiteboard. Um, or scrap paper, whatever you have at home. Um, you wanna write the equation for a cosine function with no phase shift that has an absolute max of 14 at x equals four pi plus or minus k times eight pi, and an absolute min of negative four at x equals plus or minus k times eight pi. Okay, so hopefully you took a minute to try that problem. And 
um, we'll notice that we're creating a cosine function. No phase shift tells us that the h is equal to zero. Since it's an absolute max of 14 and an absolute min of negative four, we can find the a value by doing 14 minus negative four divided by two, and in absolute value, that's a nine. To know whether it's a positive or a negative nine, though, we have to look at which comes first in the graph, the max or the min. And the min here starts at zero. The max isn't until four pi. So we know the min comes before the max, which for a cosine graph tells us there's a reflection since there is no phase shift. Okay, then the B, the period, is gonna be um, what comes in between the extrema. So K times eight pi means the period of this transformed graph is eight pi. So we take the period of cosine two pi divided by the period of this transformed cosine graph eight pi, the pi's cancel and our B is one fourth. Then to find the vertical displacement, we're gonna average those absolute extrema. So 14 plus negative four, all divided by two, which is five. And since there is no phase shift, the H is equal to zero. So the equation is Y equals negative nine, cosine of the quantity one fourth X plus five.